a common reward. Frustratingly so. This game has been like a solid 50-50 for me. Like, things they've done very well have been equally matched with things they've done very badly. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh... The plagues by fighting dragons. Oh, well I've already fought like three or four. After breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmaster's Borough in Back Batal. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Farewell. Okay. Oh my. Oh, I'm gonna spend another 50 hours here. Shall we do as that personage suggested and make for the rock mouse's burrow? Pray, allow me to show you the way. We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. That's a very good view, though. I swear, I feel like I'm in the Western approach from uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Hey, Vanna, hello, hello. I see you're playing Elden Ring. Couldn't stay away for long, could ya? <laughs> I'm probably gonna go back to that after I'm done with Dogma, for real. You just went back to it. Oh dear. Are you gonna stick around, or are you gonna fly away like all the other times? I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the time. We must not let down our guard. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of So I had nothing else, yeah. Oh my god, these enemies are so tanky. Anaka. That was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Just doing some jolly co-op? Alrighty, enjoy the lurk. I am in a completely new area, so... You probably won't miss too, too much. I'm mainly just going to be exploring where I can. Hopefully have some good fights. I'm starting to get the hang of this, uh... What's it called again? Mystic Spear. It has some really good combo potential, even despite the wonky-ass movement. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Yeah, true. There's like a waiting period. Yeah, like, this class easily has one of the better combo potentials out of all the others so far. I just cannot believe they got rid of the rolling. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. A pure dagger class not even being able to roll, but instead doing some janky ass forward dash. Honestly. But this vocation is very mobile, so I'll probably stick with this for a bit. Until I find the next hybrid class. I've tried all the other ones. Archer's okay, but... Mm. Deathly Arrow is pretty funny still, though. <laughs> I just... I love seeing enemies get knocked on their ass by that.
We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find it. Really? I don't get I Wow. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. I can't believe I don't get iframes during that. That's pathetic. They really didn't think to give you iframes during a critical attack? Really? Then... This is what I mean. Like, oh. when I'm starting to oh. be like, Oh my god, yeah, this is good! Oh no, that's bad. <laughs> Just... Literally a 50-50 experience. <clears throat> Protection. Ooh. That's a really good combo. Just dashing into the air into a plunge critical attack, that's... Yeah, this class so far is the most acrobatic. It's almost on par with Strider. It's like Strider and Mystic Knight almost. Well, maybe not. I refuse to call it the Mystic Knight replacement because mm -mm, Mystic Knight was just on its own Freshly dimension. Oh, I missed a message. Please help and send me home a minute later. People are so weird. I, I never understand why they even bother summoning. Half of the time it's like, okay. Or like when they just summon you to kill trash mobs. I don't know, I just I think that's weird. The fact that you don't get iframes is just so bad. Really? magics are at your disposal. Wait a moment. This might be certainly arisen. How might I be obeyed?
materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Why did you buff us? Who's nearby? Ice's sting is yours to win. You truly are formidable, Arisen. A well organized pack is my spec. I had a feeling there was one up here. Uh, I don't know if I can safely drop down there. Oh, there's another dragon down there, though. What are those? Hmm. Make some dinner. Alrighty, Ilaris. See you later. Have some good dinner. I hope it's good lentil soup. I shan't let the calm Oh my god, I just noticed the wolves here are worth 488 XP. <sighs> no wonder. Oh my god, and this is because I went around and got a bunch of stuff and leveled up. Imagine coming here if you're bum-rushing the game. <laughs> I'm sure people suffered. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel overpowered right now. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of Garrison. You keep your life, and I take the rest. Oh, really? Where are I you? Shall not fail you? One of us has been drenched. You were saying? Mm. 
Really? That's it? There's no, like, secret underway or something? A ladder anywhere? A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? Where? Oh my god. I'm just hiding in plain sight right there. Well, we may as well make camp. It's uh, starting to get late. Did we loot everybody? To that carousel thing? Carousel thing. You mean the Iron Virgin with the scythes? With that spin to win move? the chariot yeah well I would celebrate the fact that it killed the invader but they probably still got the rewards for it yeah the chariots good morrow everyone good morrow come we've much to be getting on with feeling rested I trust Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Can she not enchant me because I already have a fire enchantment? Hm. You know, I actually like that. Yeah, because it would be annoying where in Dogma 1 I would want to use a cold weapon and then the pawn would overwrite it, so that's a good change. Because, yeah, it's like, you know, if you're using an elemental weapon, it's presumed it's because you want to make use of the elemental enchantment. Aldis. I shan't allow any further harm to come. Freaking ragdolls. I have not, no. No, Laris went to go make dinner, but I was like, shh. I haven't gotten that far, so no spoilers. But I I've seen that before. Might confidently call that a resounding I haven't seen the tutorial for it, but I, I, I forgot where, but I'm like, oh, Dragon Plague? I'm like, I don't know what that is, but, you know. Um, Alaris did say that it was after killing dragons, but I guess I haven't killed enough because I've killed at least three. Maybe four. So, I'm like, I, I don't know what that is, but don't tell me. <laughs> no spoilers. Eliminate the stragglers. I can release this while I jump. Oh, let my magic grant you an elemental boon. That's pretty good. Mystic Spear Hand is a very good combo class. Like this. Redoubted Bolt, fully charged, just sets you up for an instant crit. Because you can close the distance by pressing A after it connects and stuns like smaller enemies. And then you just press Y and they're done. Um, stupidly though, um, it does not give you iframes during the crit attack, so that's annoying. 
The game pauses and throws the tutorial up when you first get it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I don't. Let me see. I would assume it would be in battle. No. Would you mind coming over here? Well, hold on. Okay, we'll get there when we get there. I want to kill that dragon I saw. Where's the campsite? It was over here-ish, I think. And I'm going away from it, so... To tell you about it? Oh, okay. Yeah, then... I, I haven't. I've only just now entered the outskirts of Batal here. Also, I was saying this earlier, but um, I don't think I can get um, enchanted if I have enchanted weapons, which I actually like that change. That was the main reason I never got a pawn with like fire or any boons, was because when like especially as Mystic Knight, when I wanted to use the elemental weapons, it would just get overwritten um, by the boons. So I like the fact that you don't get buffed. Unless you have a non an unenchanted weapon. So that's good. But then equally bad on the other side is not getting iframes when you land a critical attack. It's like then why go for it? You're you have it's such a long animation. Like why would I risk being open for an attack if I can't iframe through it? So it's like, once again, it's like, oh, we're starting to go past 50% and we're back. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Okay, so... Oh, quints. We have new... Ooh, figs. Give everything to Killian, because he is a logician. Alright, that's what it's called. Lodges. Wait, is that the word for it? Hmm. 
assume they're two separate things. Logicians are thinkers who like to figure out how things work. Logisticians, on the other hand, are planners who like to organize and make sure everything's in its place. So they're more action-oriented, whereas logicians are purely conceptual. Okay. The more you know. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Oh, is this where the dragon is? No. I want to fight that dragon. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just a swamp variant of the ogre. Who wants to give me a high five? I knew that I could count upon your strength, Arisen. Damn. Okay, well, I was hoping for a new enemy, but it's literally just ogre, but more swampy. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. There. Ugh, I don't want you guys getting consumed by the brine. Oh, yeah. 
freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our way. We must not let down our guard. Well fought, Arisa. Let us not get ahead of ourselves. The battle continues. A result to be proud of. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. Dude, where is this drag? Oh, I think it's here. I, rem I remember seeing this arch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good combos. Imagine if it had the movement of Dogma 1. Ooh. Ho -ho. Now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Hey, the dragon was supposed to be here. My talents lie in combining materials, and I'll use those in my possession. To oh, I need Southron iron actually to upgrade some stuff. I can't go back here, can I? Yeah, I'm not even gonna try. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. That's higher level than you, but you can hire them for free. Oh, is that what they do? I never noticed. That's pretty interesting, yeah. But no, I like my current team. I know there's something up there. I saw it when I was up there. So how can I climb this? Oh, 
The dragon's over there, or...? Oh, it's Onyx. You know, I have yet to sell those. I don't even know how much they're worth. Yeah, so that's where I came from. And there's a campfire right next to you. Oh, it's a griffin. Oh, okay. Really? That's also a good evasion maneuver too. This should be a key. Let my magic grant you an elemental. Killian. That was very cool. Literally teleported up to him and then just stabbed him in the neck as a finisher. Save after that. I think we should make camp after all that. Although... Mm, oh good. I was gonna say, unless we don't have anything to eat.
Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? I did loot the griffin, right? Yes. The Trader Joe advertisement again? Absolutely. Oh, Vanna! They had my lentil soup. It is raining most heavily. I bought six of them. Of these climbs, mayhap. There is naught to be done but suffer our wet boots. Yay! <laughs> oh, man. I was like, oh, there we go. Take six. I also got some of their ice cream. Um, the coffee bean flavor. It's really good. Yeah, no, it's good. Honestly, it has so much flavor. And it's healthy. And then the ice cream, too. Their ice cream brand is on par with Hagen does, I would say. I really can't tell the difference between the two. And it's slightly cheaper. Don't have anything like that here. Well, you have the freshest, you know, you have farm animals. I feel like every time I see these fireflies, there's a beetle nearby. Oh, there's a cave here. Oh. Nope, nope. Glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let down our guard. Ah, stupid bats. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. Mm. It's an exciting discovery, but we ought not to lose our heads. How's our way doing? Oh, we're fine. We must not let down our guard. Shweepai, listen. Memeing aside, the bats are the real final boss in this game. For real. And mid May, we're getting another two dozen egg layers, a dozen meat birds, and ten turkeys. Oh my god, you're gonna have a full on. Dude, Thanksgiving this year is gonna be popping. And your neighbor has horses, donkeys, and goats. A goat cheese, you know? I've never had goat cheese though. Oh! Ooh, stout undead. Do you guys still pop? With the fury of the elements. Wow, they take forever to pop, though. It's a good thing I have a fire enchanted weapon, huh? I would say so. Alright, my first catacomb. I really wish they wouldn't zoom you in so much in these catacombs. Like, every time I'm in a room, it's like... Back at the shop. Oh, sneaky. There was an explosive barrel there. That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. Overconfidence is an enemy in and of itself. Let us instead... How are we to get through this door? Oh, it doesn't last forever.
use our bows. Oh, finally. Oh. They don't really drop anything, do they? The one drop and it was just a rotten piece of meat. Might we remove this hindrance somehow? I am ready to attack, Master. Might I be of assistance? Redolent Whisper? What is that? Oh, it's a weapon. Oh, one of the hybrid vocations that I've yet to try. Well, I have a weapon for it whenever I, I find it. Oh my god. Snow is a really good mage. Mm -hmm. No, but even so, I wonder if the pawns still take after their... Like, the player's tendencies as well. I hope so. That reminds me. Off do we call on you to carry the burdens. It's like a core mechanic of the game. I don't know why they would get rid of that. But at this point wouldn't surprise me. Okay, so I'm gonna basically wrap all the way back around. Maybe, I don't know. But next point of interest over here. Cannot. I must thank you. Your toil keeps me light on my feet. Really now, what are you doing? You ought not to be so careless. Who are you talking to? Did someone die? No. Ho ho, the play. Yes, I haven't seen it yet. But Alaris, don't tell me. I don't want spoilers. I can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Continue up here. Oh. 
I've just had a thought. I shall never forget the agony I felt at the coronation. How might the technique used to control us be dispelled? Oh, I'm saving here. Oh, you can walk across. You see, I wouldn't have thought about that. I mean, it looked like you could, but I don't know. I shan't allow any further harm to come to you. That's my magic draws you in a lamentable I really shouldn't bother trying to uh, close distance with that. As long as the pawns don't die, I don't care. Goodness. We're higher up than I thought. Take care not to fall. Careful. Yeah. For now. There we go. I had a feeling there would be a Seeker's Token somewhere here. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Whoa, how did I go into that so quickly?
Hmm, it doesn't feel that quick when I'm hitting enemies though. A thunderclap cave. You have my protection. Oh lord. Ice's sting is yours to wield. Does that thing have the potential to send my pawns back to the rift? Yeah, get away from me. These slimes are so obnoxious. A flawless execution. Let us try for the same result with our next attack. They're like the phantoms, but worse. Oh, there's a Seeker's token. He's uncommonly rare. Legend's mantle. I my own master at its finding mm. when I return beyond the rift. That looks pretty good with my outfit, but... No, I really like this Pioneer's Cape. It's fun to see. Ah, oh, now here's a surprise. A splendid discovery. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. I like the ones in Melv, the slimes. I don't like them, period. <laughs> They're super annoying. It's like, oh god. They just instantly sap your health and trap you. Oh, the capes. Yeah, though, the capes are really good. Um, some of the outfits look really nice. Um, like, there was one for fighter. That was really nice. Oh, right. You guys are resistant. Formidable arisen.
All right, let's just stun you, yeah? I don't even think he could be stunned. Coming down. Take heart. The worst it can do is drench our equipment. <laughs> Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. I'll go and open the chest. We have found a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Ring of Momentum. Honestly, yeah. I would rather have more stamina. It's not by much, but I'll take it. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Yeah, actually, how are the curatives doing? Yeah, just so that he can combine them before they go bad. Methinks we could move this boulder if we work together. Would anyone care to push? Hmm, I hear those goblin thingies nearby. Oh dear. Oh. Look up! Knackers! Ice attacks will soon see this bow fell! I shan't let them come. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our foes. Hmm, nice little ambush. So that's it? There's no other way? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Or you could go that way. <laughs> Ah! 
An astounding discovery. Most impressive. Such a thing escaped my master's notice entirely. What's more, we could add a warrior to our ranks. What say you, Master? None are more suited for battle in close quarters. No, I really like this team. We kick ass together. Oh. It's a temple. But this is the only way to get to it, huh? There's no path behind the waterfall? No. Where's snow? <gasps> you know, these waterfalls were such a bad idea. Honestly, did they not think? Did they not think about this? She's gone. I swear to God. And this is why I spawned in port crystals. With the port crystal placed, so that when this bullshit happens, I can fix it for them. That was close. Thank you for catching me, Salt. Because I knew, I'm like, oh no. You know, the developers just don't think, do they? So it's like, fine, I will think for them. And I will go back to Vernworth because that seems to be the only place. Well, no, I've noticed that. Um... All of the rift stones in the major areas allow you to, like, have the full functionality of the rift stones. But every rift stone should have full functionality. I don't know why they restrict it. It's dumb. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to the east. Oh man, she leveled up. Oh well, you know, level 59. God, this person's just been addicted to the game. And she's a warrior now. <laughs> well, time to look for a new mage. What level are we? If I can find a mage with the same uh, spells as she, I'll be happy. High Levin, High Haladim, Isif. Mm. That could be actually that was the exact same setup. Raven. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. I expect you'll find my talents useful should we encounter another speaker. Okay. Okay. I'm going to look at their profile here real quick. From Kamaru Kamawe, Cuba. Okay. 
Are you fit to travel? Then let's not. Sweet. There is a rumor whispered among pawns that I have oft pondered. The gist of it is. Okay, we need to give you some curatives. Well, actually, you're a mage, so you don't really need healing. I'm almost tempted to leave a poor crystal here. Nah, it's alright. I'll try and play it authentic. I mean, there's really no reason for me to come back here, I don't think. But either way... I just- I put poor crystals in the towns because that's where they should be anyway. really dumb how they want you, they force you, to use their ox cart system. It's like, I don't want to use your ox cart system. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, it's getting dark, so... Oh, well... And everyone's here? Okay. Spotted. Indeed. I'm gonna have to babysit the pawns anytime we're near a waterfall. Or I'm gonna have to save every time we're near a waterfall. They do, they give the same amount of buffs. Brought to you by Trader Joe's. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Enough to make camp only when the need arises. You have my protection. Bye. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. I was going to replace Devout Offringe with um, the one that gives you a shield for a bit, but it's just too damn funny to fling enemies, especially when they piss me off like that. Our well and true. Mm -hmm. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial. Well done, master. <laughs> we shouldn't be too cocky. We should make sure that we're well done. <laughs> that was funny. so dumb that you don't get iframes in the middle of a critical attack. Ah! 
It's like, then why bother? Really? Oh, here's a mechanic that's fun to use, but we're gonna make it so that you can't really use it. Okay. I shan't deny they have their uses. Oh, it's really coming down here. Like a proper rainstorm. And it disappeared instantly. <laughs> I fear our equipment may rust in these conditions. Grumbling isn't like to improve our situation. Ooh, Killian. No need to be so sassy, darling. Wherever could you get that from? Oh, that sounds like a big enemy. We have found Actually, it might be a Saurian. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. It's coming from a. Oh! I, will I saw you. Oh, they froze it. They're gonna nerf that so hard. <laughs> that critical damage, climbing onto the head. Just took out half his health with one, and then I could do it repeatedly. <laughs> oh man. God, I hope they update this so that I can just select all. I really wish they would have made the mages smarter and be like, Oh, I have a tome in my inventory. Let me use it.
Understood. I shall watch over this till the hour of its use. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that the Medusa creature? Move this boulder if we work together. Shall we set it rolling? Oh, I wonder if the. I mean, this would be a pretty epic place to put a boss. I heard hissing. It wouldn't surprise me if I'm gonna meet that Medusa thing from the tutorial here. It is really coming down. Take heart. The worst it can do is drench our equipment. This looks very. Uh, like very. Grecian ruins, so it wouldn't surprise me that they put a Medusa from Greek mythology in a Grecian-esque ruin. Whatever it is you need, I shall gladly oblige. My curative magics are at your disposal. Wait a Do you not have sucker? Oh, you don't. That's alright. Honestly, the ice affinity is pretty useful to have. More often than not, so that's fine. Let me get that. And then what else do you have? I thought you were the same setup as Snow. Oh, you have Halidom. Honestly, that's pretty good. I don't think Snow had Halidom. It was replaced with the Sucker. There's a path... here. Ice is our ally against such fiends. The enemy slows, but perhaps we'll tie them out. We must make the most of this opportunity. Focused attack or end this foe. Damage is so well silly. Pack is my speciality. <laughs> All you have to do is just climb on the head and then you win. Oh, it's a chimera. Oh my god, that ice affinity. I 
I'll heal. Is that an auspicious incense? Yep. Consume in full. Does it work on the whole pod party though? And cure all current debilitations. Okay, well, it doesn't say, so it's probably not auspicious incense, but still. It's an upgraded panacea, let's say. An obstacle blocks our way. Perhaps we might remove it by force. I am ready to attack, Master. I would gladly be evader. I got it. Okay, so we... that's progression. We are none of us alike in vocation. Our respective abilities are unique as well. Mm-hmm. That's why we're such a good team. Utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Looks like a weeping angel. I don't trust it. Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Damn, missed opportunity to put the Medusa there. Five chests with a platform in the middle. Maybe she will show up then. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. <laughs> I don't trust that. <laughs> hmm. We can travel wheresoever we please. Cause I'm like, oh, there's a chimera here. I'd wager there's ought to be found here. Oh man, I missed a chest. We ought to take a closer look. Ugh, and there's another chest over there.
so it's only in this section where it rains a lot. Okay. Got it. You know, I should try the Harpy Snare Smoke Beacon and see what it actually does. Frontier Shrine. Are those pork crystals? Whatever. Oh no, they're just... Oh. A riddle. Uh, well. I want to put a part crystal here then. So that whenever I find whatever this unlocks, I can just fast travel on back here. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna walk all the way back here. Ah, <sighs> too bad. I was hoping for like a cool boss fight or something. Sure. Yeah, I'm in this section of, uh, like, that's the checkpoint rest town, and then it's, like, over here. My handy-dandy port crystal, Frontier Shrine. is broken beyond repair. Yeah. This is quite a journey, but that's fine. I like it. I like to explore. Oh, I'm out of oil. No, I'm not. A 
As a matter of fact, curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Each to their own. Oh my god, there was a delay in turning on my lantern, good lord. What the hell? Anyway, where are the wolves? This might contain useful information. Shall we take a closer look? Can we go in there? I don't trust it. I don't trust that you guys are going to survive it. I doubt it, but let me give it a shot. Yeah, that's what I figured. Although there was a piece of shallow land there. That's what throws me off. But no, I don't really see a path to- maybe, maybe, but... I think it was more visual than, um, actual utility. Mm, okay. Shall we prop up our tent and get out of the way? Don't the you dare! Right you oh, I hate this momentum. Oh, we did it to be realistic. No, you did it to be annoying and stupid. Ice and stain is yours to wield. I'll save you! Go where your help is needed! Realism, aka annoying. Don't tell me you fell all the way down there. Girl. Oh, she's over here. Good. Oh, the emulators, yeah. I'm saved. Thank you, Arisen. Now that Shweepai told me that you can hire these for free, let's see what level you are. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. You'll never fall in battle so long as I'm around. That's a cool outfit. I enjoy tackling fierce foe. But you weren't that much higher than me. Like, we're already level 34, you were 37. A well-made thing, that. <gasps> Darkening storm? Excuse you? Mm, honey, they put you down a peg or two, didn't they? <laughs> From the most powerful shortbow in Dogma to what's probably... like, mid-tier, I would guess? Could make use of it. Or who knows, maybe Certainly secretly it is still the most powerful shortbow. To be determined. That's funny how it's literally Darkening Storm, though. <laughs> well... We've eaten our fill. I can't access my items while I'm in camp. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? Mm. 
Okay. And the Beastron already? Uh, no. Not yet. I've only heard them through the pawns, like, oh, I speak Elvish. I'm like, oh, there's elves. But yeah, just to avoid indirect spoilers, though, like, that one's fine, because, like, the pawn, right? Like, even Raven said it. I speak Elvish. I'm like, oh, okay. But yeah, just assume I haven't done much. I'd rather you just assume that than tell me something and then I indirectly, like, get spoiled. Just assume I'm very new to the game. Um... Can I get back up if I- well... <laughs> That's why you phrased it that way, yeah. I just had a thought. The pain I experienced at the coronation was beyond imagining. We must need to uncover this secret power that allows for the command of pawns. Oh my gosh, the uh pleased to make your acquaintance. The those um Saurian daggers from the black cat. And they still blink when there's treasure nearby, that's funny. Wow, they actually uh preserve that mechanic. Place to harvest some ingredients. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? Hey, Inferno, yes, face cam. Usually I turn it on for a new game. And especially this one where, oh boy. Because, <laughs> you know, Dragon's Dogma Original is my favorite game. Don't you fucking dare. I, I hate this for- I hate this forward momentum crap. I hate it. Absolute garbage. To pull the trigger. I can understand that, yeah. And honestly, it's just been 50-50. Like, for me anyway. Yeah, I would wait for a sale. Like, it's fine and all, right? Like, the world is certainly huge. But, uh... That's not enough for me to justify full price. They did a lot of fundamental changes that... I would not have paid full price for, but, you know. I did, so I'll play it. Although, I gotta say... I have really, uh, I think, let me see, what is it? Mystic Spear Hand has been pretty fun to play so far, even with the janky-ass movement. 
did the same for Elden Ring. We'll see with Elden Ring. I did uh, buy that like two days after launch because I watched a stream of it. And just looking at the introductory area, you know, where you see the Erd tree, I was like, oh, looks pretty. And it looked good. Um, the combat looked pretty decent, like more fluid than Dark Souls 3. So I was like, OK, I have to try it out for myself. And I'm glad I did. Combat for this vocation is pretty good. Um, I absolutely despise the fact that I have yet to encounter a vocation that has a rolling ability. Like, even Thief. You can't roll as a Thief. All it has is this stupid swift step. Which, it's super awkward. And it doesn't even compare to a roll. The flashy visuals, yeah. For me, not so much. For me, the movement. The movement and the fundamental battle mechanics and, like, the fact that, you know, they have the mechanic where if you stun an enemy... Oh, wait. I have to... Is it back? Okay. My microphone was starting to have this weird delay when I was speaking, so I was hearing myself like a, a half a second later and it was throwing me off. Um, but there's a, you know, the mechanic here is, and I think this goes for all of the melee classes, anyone with a physical weapon, where if you throw the enemy off their balance, or they're on the floor, which is being thrown off your balance, um, if you press Y, uh, usually I have to push and hold it, but if you're close enough, a, a, you can press it and you're fine. Um, you go for a critical attack, but you don't get iframes during the crit. So if it's a group of enemies and you're trying to take advantage of knocking one down and killing it quickly, if you just get hit during the animation, it stuns you out of it. And that's so stupid to me. It's like, why would you give me that mechanic and not give me iframes through it? It would be over a hundred Canadian dollars with tax. Yeah, no, wait for a sale. Even if I were to convert that into USD, that's still absurdly expensive. The exchange rate is not that different. No iframes on dodges? No, that's just dumb. That is a hard disagree there, Inferno. <laughs> but no, I'm not talking about dodges here. I'm talking about, it's not really a dodge, is it? You can't call that a dodge if you don't get iframes through it. Um, but no, like, even the criticals... It's like the animation for a crit is so long, and I know people will argue, Oh, well, that's why you shouldn't just do it whenever you have to wait for an opening. It's like, well, I'm creating an opening by trying to set someone up for a critical attack. Otherwise, it's no different than me just spamming X and just doing it brainlessly. So, I don't know. Well, I do know. I, I disagree with the concept that they came up with in that mechanic. Because they're not really rewarding you for going for crits. Even though they clearly introduced it to have some sort of... ...variety in the battles. Was Resident Evil 4, and I definitely got my money's worth with that one. I don't really care for those kind of games, but... I guess for people who do enjoy the genre, it's pretty good, huh? What fails to destroy us? Why does this wire keep falling? Against future adversaries. That was superb, Arisen. But no, Mystic Spearhand, very acrobatic, very good at closing distance, and very good at um, just having nice combos just again you know i would have given you iframes during a critical attack like really a full price for halo 3. we have found a material where am i going oh i'm going all the way back over here 
Wow, this was quite a journey, wasn't it? I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Yeah, that's nice when you have good memories. Like that. If I drop down to there, will I... Ooh. Will I be able to come back up? Ah, another Resident Evil fan. It's funny, I don't mind watching other people play it, but I myself wouldn't have much fun playing those kind of games. Tis a glad thing we rested where we did. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not one for horror. Even though people wouldn't probably consider that horror, right? Compared to other. But it doesn't matter to me. Horror movies, no problem, but horror games are... Really? That's interesting. Let me get that. Anything horror is just like a nope. Mm -mm. For this, it's pretty good. This class, it's... Been, like, this is my favorite so far. some messages. It's hard for me to be able to like speed read and fight at the same time. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't miss anything, did I? Yeah, this ability is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I found this in a very early area. Like, uh... Infernal Edge. And I found this... Like, somewhere in this beginning area, pretty sure. Like, maybe somewhere over here, but I remember finding this quite early. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. And it out-damages even the weapons I got from the checkpoint rest town. Actually, this rest town doesn't sell any weapons that Mystic Spearhand can use. Only here in Vern Wharf, which I do have a spear, right? Because against a dragon, this doesn't do much. So I have a weapon without the inherent fire damage. But yeah, plus 50 fire damage, like 453 compared to 440. Well, right here. It's not much of a difference, but still. 
you know, this is at 3 versus 2 for this one, so... Yeah. Is the scale of this similar to ER? Um, I don't think it's as large. Hard to say. I mean, if I'm to assume that all of these trails, right, all these pathways, are ones that you can traverse, then it's certainly not as large as Elden Ring, but I would say with this, assuming you can visit all of this, right, because this is water, so you can't do all of that. This is probably, let's see, this is like Weeping Peninsula right here. And then Limgrave. So like I would say this whole first half here, right between Vernwar, what is it, uh, Vernworth, and from the where you get spawned in, it's like Limgrave plus Weeping, and then like now I feel like I'm heading into Kaled. So like this whole section here will probably be the size equivalent to Kaled, and then you still have all of this. So. This looks like it's going to be Lyurnia of the Lakes, but then again, the Lakes has a lot of dead space, so... Let's just say it's definitely Weeping, Lyurnia, Kaled, Limgrave, and to be generous, let's say a third of Altus Plateau would be like the entirety of what this map looks like. And that's assuming that we can't teleport somewhere, which I don't think we can. I don't think we're going to teleport anywhere. But yeah, because then I still have some stuff up here that I haven't gone to. So yeah, I would say definitely like the first whole section of Elden Ring. And then take a third of Altus Plateau, and that's like the rough size of this map, which is pretty good. That's significantly bigger than Grand Sorn, or um, what's it called? Grancis. Significantly bigger than Grancis for sure. No torrent does factor in. Uh, I mean, it just makes it feel bigger, right? Not having a mount. Realistically, though, you know, even though it looks pretty, I mean, it is large, right? Like this whole section felt large. But once you're used to it, once you're familiar with the area, you can actually sprint um, fairly quickly. It still takes a bit, but, you know. The reason it feels so large is because you move pretty slowly, right? I even went to a very light load once. You don't move that fast. Not like in Dogma 2, holy crap. In Dogma 2, you could just zoom, zoom, zoom <laughs> if you were very light, but here, not so much. But yeah, like, once I play the entire game, I'll really be able to know, like, okay, yeah, you know. At the very least, though, I would say that it's definitely Weeping, Limgrave, and Kaled, plus Dragon Barrow. And then, you know, the reason I include the whole of Lyurnia is because, again, there's a lot of, um dead space and the lakes there so I kind of adjust for that whereas here there is, there's not much dead space right like there's still some sections where it's just you know flora and fauna but for the most part like everything has a purpose there's always something even in the middle of the forest whereas in Lim in Lyurnia it's literally just water and a lobster over here, and a lobster over there, <laughs> you know, so I take that into consideration. It's a very dense map. It's very dense. There's a lot of stuff. Most of which is useful. I'll give it that much. But yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's certainly large. It's certainly a large map either way. Mm-hmm, yeah, so if we were to subtract the dead space, then yeah, 
equivalently it would be like that. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. Like this, for I example. Put what I find to good use. This is probably as much dead space as you get. Right? Maybe a little bit bigger. There was um, an area over here where we fought a dragon. Oh lord, where was it? Over here. And even then, like, this is a whole fort. There wasn't too much going on in this fort, but still. Um, there was a dragon fight over here. Um, but that was about it. You know, and even then they could have done with removing all of the shit that got in your way during that fight, but... There really isn't a lot of dead space. There's open spaces, but I don't consider it dead space. Fara Mazula tips the scales, it seems. Well, I mean, you have mountaintops, which, yeah, that's another dead space area, but no. I mean, you also have the underground area, so no. I mean, Elden Ring is by far the largest open world map I've ever played. I have not played any other open world RPG that comes close to Elden Ring size, but this one is probably the second largest open world RPG that I've played. You know, Elden Ring's huge. Even the overworld, right? Because then you have Mikola's Halleck Tree. And yeah, the snowfields and mountaintops, a lot of dead space, but you know there's still stuff there to do. And then Alta's Plateau, some dead space, but still has a lot to do there as well. Yeah, no, they, they went above and beyond as far as, you know, <laughs> all the stuff they put in that game. Not a 10 out of 10 game, though, but... You know, after 1500 hours, yeah. <laughs> It'd be weird if I said, oh, you know, I don't really care for Elden Ring. <laughs> it's like, no, I do. It has its own bullshit like every game, but... Yeah, whereas this game... Because Dragon's Dogma is my favorite game... You know, most people who play this game would probably be fine with the movement. It's very similar to... It's like Dragon Age, Inquisition, and Monster Hunter had a baby. Movement-wise. But to me, that's just a gross disservice to the movement it's that really Dogma okay. had. My I god, you had, you had absolute happened. control over your character in Dragon's Dogma, and that's why it was so good. That why it, that's why it is so good. And that's why even this game, like, yeah, you know, the new vocations and the new abilities in the vocations, even with the same ones like Fighter and Warrior, they're fine, but the movement just makes them suffer. It's certainly not reaching the potential that it could be. Because of the fact that they include this janky-ass movement that has no business being in this game, but whatever. You know, you kind of get used to it after a while, right? But... You know, it will never compare to, to Dogma's control of battle. To get you haven't played Dogma? Ooh, play this one first. Play this one first. <laughs> because if you play Dragon's Dogma first and then you come here, it's gonna be Well, I mean I don't know, do it what, do whatever you want, right? Your experience will could be very different from mine, but me to myself, if I didn't play the Dogma 1, I'd be like, no, play this game first. <laughs> because, yeah, Dragon's Dogma 1, it gets repetitive easily, and trust me, Dogma has its own bullshit. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh my god, 10 out of 10 perfection. Vanna, don't be an invader. That's another thing, too. So, I mean, if you want to kill time and have a new game until they fix the mess of performance in this game, then yeah, you know, go ahead, you may as well go for Dogma 1. Oh my gosh, this is where I got let out? Oh, I'm back at the checkpoint. I didn't even realize that. Holy crap, had I come over here? I would have began this entire journey. Oh my gosh. I haven't really been paying attention to where I've been going because of the chat. Dude. 
imagine how did I even get up here? No, but really, how did I get up here? Must have been from down here. Wow. Well, that's the second way, because there's like another way too. Because originally, back when I was still trying to play this game on my atrocious <laughs> uh, performance issues, I, uh, where did I go? There's another way to get to Batar. But it was this incredibly windy side path. Maybe it was even over here. I can't remember. But that's cool, so that's yet another way you can get to Batar. You don't need the permit, of course not. But you may as well get the permit. If you just- I just wanted to progress the main story. I'm like, okay. Oh my god, and that's another thing, the quests. They're no better than Dogma, some of them are worse. Like, this quest for example, where is it? A beggar's tail can go in the dumpster. The fact that you have to wait. Even when I rested until nightfall, and then I passed time on the bench, because I had to look it up, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? And it's like, you literally have to wait for him to stop telling his stories, and then he walks ever so slowly to several different places. <laughs> Even resting till nightfall and resting like three or four times so that I would be in the afternoon. Then he slow walks all the way to the slums and then you have to wait there for like another five to ten minutes. Then he walks over to his house, more waiting, and then he walks over to his other location. And it's like, my god, this makes Simone's questline look like a dream. It's just so bad. Like, they didn't improve their quest quality at all. It's just cheap errand running and I hate it. It's so lazy and so dated. It just feels so old. <laughs> You're still a son, bro? Yeah, you better be. I don't even appreciate the pathing path because it's just obnoxious. It is quite literally a waste of your time. There's just no need for it. Like, I'm not even invested in the story. I was thinking like, oh, you know, maybe they got better at storytelling. They didn't. <laughs> You've been summoned by the same guy four times for the same boss or for different bosses? Ooh, which one? But yeah, I mean, ultimately, like, these are just my opinions, right? Once again, depending on everyone else's flavor, they'll like it more or they'll dislike it more, but... Either way... The one that never knew defeat. Oh. <gasps> Millennia. Blade of Nicola. Hmm... Well, I'm pretty much done here. I came all the way back. So, this is. I should have left a port. Had I known, I would have left a port crystal here. But, you know, that's the first time experience for you. So, would it be faster for me to come over here or just go through? I think it'd be better for me to just come over here. And then I should probably come down here. So let me just make my way back to this place. RNG, yeah. The only time it's predictable is, you know, when uh, if she gets to 70% health about in first phase. But second phase? Yeah, it's, it's completely random. She can go for it right after her Aeonia, her Scarlet Aeonia, or 
She can just never go for it, depending on what y'all do to her. If only Black Flame Protection, yeah. I mean, it's still really worthwhile to use that. Oh my gosh, you guys, relax. I'm not gonna hit you. <laughs> well, since we made it all the way back here, may as well unpack all of our stuff. And rest. I can always run. The greater barriers are like drugs to me. I can't. Oh my gosh, they're so good. The sovereign's retinue makes to fell the dragon. That's what makes strength, faith, or just anything slash faith so good. It really, it's those buffs you get. I really want to keep these, but. Yeah. No, they're they're just they're they're top tier. They really are. <laughs> Goodbye, Darkening Storm. <laughs> what build are they running? That they keep dying. Do they just keep dying to her waterfowl, or what? Yeah. It really is a bullshit attack. You know, even though you can dodge it, whatever. And even then, that's not very consistent. People claim it is, but it's like, it's not. Not on a medium load anyway, and it's like, I shouldn't have to be on a light load for any boss. But you know, whatever. I just try to avoid it at all costs, right? That's why I just keep my distance. Yeah, I mean... You'd have to fight her so many times that it gets burned into your muscle memory. And it's like, most people are not going to do that. So, you know. Even though I do like fighting her because of the parries, like, I think it's funny to just parry her. Oh my god, first time it took me like three days. <laughs> no joke. At last. All right, wonderful. We got some dried meat. That's going to be really good. Twas a red ma. Wait, why can't he combine those? Man was burnt to a pleasure doing business. Yeah, I just, I want all of the dried stuff. <laughs> okay, so that should be pretty good. The Sovereign's retinue makes to fell... Mm, dried fruit... I'll keep one. I'll have to give some of those to you. <laughs> You'll probably be here a while. Yeah, well, 
We know at some point they'll win. The dragon at last. It was a remarkable. Many thanks. <sighs> There's gotta be more. I, I really should be combining these. But making these are is so much better. They weigh less and they do more. So. The sovereign's retinue makes to fail. Here, let me just put all of these back in storage. The dragon at I have plenty of those. Dried meat? No, I want to use that for... Oh wait, no, this is in the storage, so... Right, let me check. Oh, it doesn't let me see. Well, I need either way. Unconscious or sleep? We have a bunch of these already. May as well. Last. Okay, so... Ah, uh, there's so much crafting to be done. Remarkable recovery. Many thanks. Go on, have a look. Oh. Are you guys going into Shadow of the Earth Tree pre burn or post burn? Um, post burn for me, cause I, I'm just gonna go in that in the save file where I collected everything, and I'm really not in the mood to restart the game yet again. It should work either way. I'd be very disappointed <laughs> if they were like, oh. To get the best um, experience, do it on a new game. It's like, no, <laughs> that shouldn't matter. All right, like it's different if people want to replay the game, right? But if you force it in order to have a specific experience, that's just bad design to me. I don't like that. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see. I don't think it's going to matter. I hope not. That would be very stupid. Alright, so can I upgrade any of my weapons? That was a lot of crafting. <laughs> Where are there's always... 
demand for weapons, particularly near the board. Oh, the frenzy ending. I don't, I really don't think the endings are going to matter. Again, I hope they don't. All right, I'm going to prioritize upgrading your stuff because I love you. Nice, I was able to upgrade everything. Very good. I need oily slime and two freakish mains to... I'll just say three star. Even though, what is that? It's the symbol of our heart, so... To forge it to tier three. I'll just say three star. It's simpler to three star it. <laughs> Where quarrels occur every other day. If it does, I'll just new game plus and use cheat engine for everything. Not in the mood to get all the graces. Mm hmm. Yeah, like what I would do is new game plus it, but then freeze the journey one value because I don't want to play the the DLC with a new game plus scaling. I want to see what it is at base scaling. So I would just go into new game plus, freeze the journey one f uh, field, and then just speed kill. I'd probably just teleport to Moog, and then one-shot him just to go into the DLC. Right? Assuming that's where you enter it, which... If you don't, after that intro trailer where they literally show Mikola coming out of his egg, if that's not the entrance to the DLC... Imagine. <laughs> They'll be like, surprise, it's actually hidden behind Millennia. Which, honestly, I wouldn't really have a problem with that, but at the same time, it wouldn't make sense, because it's like, what, was he hiding under your nose this whole time? He's not even there. How to do that? Because I'd also want to do the same. Yeah, so if you have the cheat engine, or the cheat table for it, um, there's only one I can think of. But yeah, like in the... Well, I can't open it right now, actually. But anyway, yeah, there's... I think it's in, like, character data. It's one of the first few options. You just... You, you keep expanding the menus until you see something where it's, like... New Game Plus or Game Setting or something. The field will be, like, Journey 1. And then that's the one you freeze before you start the New Game Plus. Two port crystals, yeah. I gave them to myself via cheat engine because I wasn't going to be bothered running around everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, when next I play Elden Ring, I can... Or, better yet. Actually, do you have me on Discord, Inferno? You can add me if you want, no pressure. Just in case you want to send an invite. Much easier just to do stuff over there. Oh, you guys got her? Good. Very good. Always a pleasure. Well met, sir. How's the day treating you then? Okay, well it was worthwhile circling around because I had a bunch of stuff to do anyway. So now let's go rest. The sovereign's retinue makes to fail. We must rest. Oh, you came back from a mission, huh? Oh, I see your friend request. Let me just go ahead and open that real quick. Hey. Oh, Vanna, your chickens! Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh wow, you're building the chicken coop from scratch, huh? Yo. Man, that looks really relaxing. Just all those trees. You're making a bigger coop for them? Aw, buddies.
It's adorable. In battle I stood firm and let none best me. I shall need a flexible mind to digest. Nice. So you did well. Oh, it was you, Alaris. Well, thank you. I a <laughs> now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day. A new perspective. Builds for the DLC, you mean? Hard RP or just do my main build? Um, well, I'm doing Faith Strength. But my strength is only at 31, I think. It was just enough strength to be able to use Solaria's Woe. Or Solaria's Tree, I think the weapon is called. And then the weapon art is Solaria's Woe. There's a ladder here. So, you seek to enter, but go on. And then even my faith isn't too high. It's like, I think 35? Just so I can use... Why did I put it at 35? I think so I could use that one buff that gives you elemental resistance across the board. Right. It is strangely quiet hereabouts. Where are our foes lurking? I'll take the peace and quiet over a horde of enemies any day. Banish Knight Sword or Claymore in mixed decks. Hey, you know, whatever build. The best build is the one you play the best. And if someone tells me I play the game the best with fist only, I'll be like, okay, well then go fist only, hey, whatever. <laughs> 30 faith for barrier, 60 vigor, always 60 vigor. Oh my god, I cannot tell you. It's hilarious. Like in my low level builds, like Van and I have been doing low level jolly co-op. And I've only been leveling vigor. Like it wasn't until I got to level... I think it was level f like 52 or something where I could finally level up something else in order to get to 60 as a Vagabond starting class. And it was hilarious seeing invaders with no HP because they thought, oh, I'm just going to put all of my stats into the damage. And it's like, you know, that's not really going to help you out if one... I still tank through your damage, and two, because you don't have any health, all it takes is for me to kind of sneeze on you and you die. <laughs> so, that plan didn't really work out too well for you. Gets pissed at you when you know you're done. Yeah. Yeah, where they, they take a video game way too seriously. Because taking their life too seriously would be- would require actual effort and maturity, and so they escape through a video game with emotional immaturity and high levels of insecurity. You're trying to survive my attacks? How dare you? I know, how dare I? Oh, high five. Well done, master. There we go. I do love the high fives. I do. They grew, they grew on me. I mean, they were cool when I first saw them, but now I like actively. Like, especially after a good fight, like the Griffin fight, I was like, who wants to high five that? That was a good fucking fight. Somebody better give me a high five after that. <laughs> I have some sinister plans for him. Honestly, I was thinking like, what if he invades one of my jolly co-op sessions? I'm literally just going to lightning ram him. I wish the tracking on- I wish it just tracked period. And not because I think lightning ram would be effective or anything, I just- the best way to piss those people off is to not even try. The best way to piss off a tryhard is to not try hard. 
Especially with a Mimi Ash of War like Ram. <laughs> And then if they do come into my chat like, Oh, dude, you're an idiot using lightning ram. Obvi, you were gonna die. Fucking noob. I'd be like, and it's hilarious how you think I was trying to kill you. I'm like, I wasn't even taking you seriously. Why do you think I used lightning ram against you? It's because I'm not taking you seriously. And then that would just piss them off even more. <laughs> yeah, no, I love the high fives. It was very good addition. Trash meta overleveled phantom. Good god. No, lightning ram is actually oh, dude. When I was on my millennia build, let me tell you, with the rotten winged insignia and Millicent's prosthesis, with warrior shard, <laughs> I sustain. It did work. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Like I still I, I think I clipped it. It's in one of my clips where like some great sword user who was trying to smash, uh, spam Lion's Claw um, was trying to get the sneak attack on the host and he cornered himself by one of the Fogwall Imp statues and I just went meh and rolled into him, deleted his health bar in like three rolls. <laughs> I mean the other guy helped too but honestly I was the one who did like the predominant damage it was hilarious like 1500 hp just gone like that yeah mm -hmm. but even so what really makes lightning infusion the most powerful is if you put an ash of war that also buffs your lightning infusion but yeah even just a raw Lightning infusion is still pretty good. Now that is a surprise. Yes, master. I shall hasten to you. This, this class is just set up for crits, I swear. A fully charged redoubted bolt is like what you always want to do. Every time. And you can release it while you're jumping. Which is even better. Easily one of the best passives that any vocation I've seen has. So, well, actually, no. Warrior having the passive of like a, a pommel bash, that's really good too. That actually helps you keep closing the distance when you stun the enemy away from you. Anyway, should we make camp or...? No, it's still early. There's no need. Okay, so now from here, where do I want to go? I kind of want to go over here, even though there looks like, I feel like this is progression clearly, but. And then there's structures here, but I want to go on the side paths first. And you know what I'll do? I'll just go ahead and leave a poor crystal right here, just so I can fast travel back here. Even though, oh, but that's not the real experience, you used cheat engine to give you silver poor crystal. I don't care. I'm not going to be running around everywhere either. <laughs> I did not just spend money on an upgraded PC just to not be able to use 
mods and cheats when I want to. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry you can't use them, that's not my problem though. Uh, I just finished installing my 197th mod for Skyrim. I have a pro- Dude, now with this rig- oh, I wanna try the Skyrim mod. I think it'd be able to handle all the graphic overhaul mods that I want. But, oh my god, like doing a compatibility check is gonna be intense. I don't know if I'm gonna be bothered enough to do that. I did. Vanna and Shui Pai helped me um, build it. Which, thank you again, guys. Very appreciated. Because, like, I it's funny. I like technology and I'm pretty good with software. But hardware? There's too many fucking options. It's a it's obnoxious. And then what was hilarious was when I was doing my research and I did pick up some stuff, I did learn some things, but every single time I asked for help, it just became a dick war between the noobs and the non-noobs of who thinks what is the best. And I was over here like, uh, I'm still here, but okay, you guys are clearly having a moment. So I just gave up, now, and I was just looking at pre-built PCs and trying to figure out which ones were the best. And then Shui Pai and Vanna were like, oh, well, you know, this is this, and that's this, and this is that. And so, uh, we literally, there was one stream, when was it? Like, two days ago? <laughs> we were just on PC Part Picker and Micro Center, and then I'm like, is this the build? They're like, this is the build. I'm like, okay, and I got it. <laughs> Oh yeah, Inferno, if you want to share your mod list, please do, because let me tell you, trying to find which mods work with what, ugh, similar story with trying to figure out what a good PC build is, it's like, oh my gosh, there's just too much to look at. It was two days ago, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's really good. The, uh, do we still have a link for the specs? I think I do. I remember sharing it with someone else who asked, so let me see here. Oh, thanks, Inferno. Yeah, no worries if you can't, but either way, I appreciate it. Yeah. Especially if it makes Skyrim look sexy and modern. That would be great. Oh, wonderful. This link will work. The person I helped with Millennia only had 20 hours, by the way. Oh my god. Oh, well, there we go. Shweep, I already had it. Thank you. That's the build that I'm on. You can't really tell because, you know, I'm still keeping my stream at... What did I put it at? It's at 3800 kilobits per second. And even though I could probably still get away with putting the CPU usage preset to medium with this CPU, I'm still just keeping it fast, which is one step up because it used to be faster, like the faster preset on my old rig. And then the bitrate just because having to re-download everything onto a new computer, it's like, huh, I'm pushing my data limit for this month, so I don't want to get too crazy. Yeah, the, the 3D architecture, I watched some videos on it just to be like, what is this? Like, why is this such a big deal? Well, rather than extending the CPU for the extra processing power, they literally built on top of it, so that's where the 3D comes in. I'm like, oh, okay. And then the graphics card was like, it was a choice between this or the 7900. But I'm like, well, if I get the 7900, then I'm going to get a lower CPU. And I was asking Shui Pai, what would be more beneficial? And more often than not, especially for Dragon's Dogma in the towns, it's CPU fucking hungry. <laughs> so it just benefits to have... I'm like, what would be more beneficial to spend the extra money on? The GPU or the CPU? And we went with the CPU. 
But even then, this graphics card is fabulous. Like 16 gigabytes of VRAM, let's go. Yeah, these are uh, US dollars. <clears throat> yeah, no, it'd be doing work. Like even right now, here. Let me just exit this. With the cold crystal placed, we'll be able to use a fairy stone to return here in an instant. Where does it like stutter? Okay, in that direction. And it's it's even cooler than my last computer because you know it it's a proper card with three fans on it. So right now it's just using 90% of the GPU, but it's at 49 degrees Celsius and it's using 44% of the CPU. And actually, if we want to really test it in the towns where it's actually crazy, may as well. I already put the port crystal here. We seem to have arrived without yeah, that's what I figured too, Storm. So that's good to see that others agree. And you can always upgrade to a 1440. Well, that's the thing, Vanna. Even on my old computer, Elden Ring let me... <laughs> sometimes it would let me go to 4K. Which I don't know how it let me do that with that graphics card I had. So that's the strange thing. This monitor can support higher resolutions, but for this game, it's just like, no. <laughs> no. Which is fine. 1080 is, it still looks amazing. I rest at Academy Gray a certain time of day. I need to use debug tool to reload. Really? I'm really curious to see how Elden Ring performs with this setup. Yeah, like... I'm, I'm thinking of just doing a new game on Elden Ring, just to experience it anew, graphically anyway, all over again. Oh, I see. So even though other games would let me push it higher if another game is stricter, then it will just adhere to the default of the monitor. It downscales to your resolution. Oh, okay. Well, either way, honestly, like, yeah, it's nice for me to have the option for 1440, but I mean, you guys saw what I dealt with, with this game, fucking half the ground missing, 10 frames per second dragon fight. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not going to be bothered at all <laughs> to having 1080. Mm -mm. Yep, invisible grounds, constant freezing and crashing, oh yeah. So, I can actually see things, yeah, it's great. So here it's like 84% and then 53% utilization for the CPU here. I noticed that it's the worst up here for some reason like once you come to the noble quarters it's like oh lord yeah it shot up to like 70 percent when i was going up the stairs for the cpu so yeah i can imagine with people that are you know have an otherwise good computer but with this game it's like pfft. The heat effect from the spear. Yeah, right? It's pretty cool, huh? Um, I used the fuck out of that spear, and this is the best CPU, mind you. With the Well, I mean, there's higher CPUs, right? But yeah, this is among the better ones. A crime committed here will no, dude, honestly, this kill. class? I remember you saying you weren't too impressed with it. I mean, and ultimately, like, play styles are different, right? But... The combo potential is really good, even with the wonky-ass movement. I've been saying this for the last hour. But yeah, I mean... This is one of the best passives that a class has had. Second only to Warriors... I forget what they call it, but it's basically a Pommel Bash. That's like the best thing they could have had as a passive core skill for Warrior. Um, I haven't unlocked the other vocations though, like there's two more I haven't unlocked yet, which is funny because I found a weapon for one of them. I don't know which one. So, 
yet to be seen, but I've tried all the other ones, and I'm very disappointed with Thief, by the way. It has some good things to it, but... Uh, they totally ruined what it could have been. Especially with that stupid dash. Is the best for gaming? Are great, but not the best mo- Really? Well, that's good. We'll send it once I'm done compiling. Oh, nice! Thanks, Inferno. Oh, okay, so they're- they're more for, like, pre- What do I want to say? Like, the um... People who work with Adobe, basically. Content creation and media editing. That's the word I was looking for, media editing. Yeah, well that's not why I got this computer. I got it for gaming, so that's good to know. Yeah, no, we had like a whole brainstorm session. Vanna and Shui Pai were mainly speaking in technology. What do I want to call it? Computeries, let's say. <laughs> They were speaking in terms, I'm like, okay, you guys have fun with that. I'm just going to put this in my cart and call it a day. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I mean, this is a massive upgrade from what I used to have, either way. A lot of things would have been an upgrade from what I used to have, so... I'm just, I'm just glad. I'm just glad they assembled it so quickly. It was done the same day. I just didn't want to go at night. This ox guard was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Wrought by the hands of brigands. <laughs> yeah, the Mandarin talk. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna stay on this we road then. Not worth the license cost to buy. Needing to cool it. Okay. I keep forgetting I have that ability. Which that would be really good to use too, like after you stun an enemy, you just throw their corpse at people. <laughs> that was hard one. We ought to consider this a lesson. This is what befalls one who lets down their guard. Yeah, the liquid cooling. Seems good, but yeah. I'd rather not because isn't it more maintenance? Like you really have to maintain those things. Yeah. Yeah, I like simplicity as well. Material <laughs> that is so good. Missed a bunch of messages, but I was too focused on just comboing everybody. Never go full. Well, uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with. Uh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. My knowledge from other worlds tells me. I'm gonna stick with air cooling as long as I can. I'd much rather spend. 
like 20 minutes dusting it than maintaining the liquid cooling aspect. Yeah, I mean, either way, right? You want to clean it, but I'm saying, like, with liquid cooling, don't you also need to... Well, I can stay on this path, it seems. Um, don't you also need to replace the actual liquid eventually? Yeah, yeah. And then there is a, I mean, it's probably rare, but I think I recall someone being like, oh, there's a leak. And I'm like, oh, that's all I need is for a leak to happen. And then it just breaks something. Some more than others. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like too much of a bother. <laughs> Turn out your pocket. I'm taking the You're all out of luck. Battle is best of here. No one can defend themselves when grappled like this. Yeah, get it, Killian. <laughs> I wish you could change their name. I mainly named him Killian because I'm watching Once Upon a Time on Disney Plus. And I am all on board the Killian ship. So if you're watching that show or have seen that show, don't tell me anything. No spoilers. <laughs> I'm totally going away from the markers I left for myself. I just can't help it. I'd rather just go where the wind takes me. Because it's taking me everywhere. What is this? Haven't I already been over here? I have. Why does it feel different? Wager there's ought to be found here. We ought to take a closer look. Are you an enemy or a pawn? All right, well, anyway. <laughs> Common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaming treasures around every corner. Alright, that's the path I'm gonna eventually take for now. Oh. We had a really good griffin fight earlier. When they don't fly away obnoxiously, they're actually pretty good to fight. But of course they made it so that they still run away from you. Which I find annoying. I should probably go in this cave now before I forget.
Yeah, that's something, you know, like the dragon too. You spend time, energy, and sometimes resources to do your best to kill them, and then they just run away. It's like, then why even bother? I always hated that in Dogma 1, and I'm disappointed to see it still got preserved. Yeah, the dragon and the griffin. I think it's their way of being like, oh, you're not killing it fast enough, so we're gonna do you a favor and have it fly away. It's like, don't tell me what to do. If I want to have a 30 minute long griffin fight, I'm gonna have a 30 minute long griffin fight. Oh dear. Because like, even at low level, I was killing the griffin pretty well. And I just flew away. I was like, okay, whatever. 180 more than before factoring in getting cooler. Oh wow. Yeah, it just sucks when someone stun locks you, huh? Yeah, it really sucks. I love that you can throw the corpses of their fallen allies and kill them with it. <laughs> That's such a big insult. I love it. AMD CPU. Yeah, I mean, I came from AMD. And that's something I asked too, I'm like, is is there a difference? Like, you know, most people will be like, oh my god, yeah, NVIDIA for the win. But I'm like, yeah, but not at these prices. <laughs> AMD is more affordable. And, uh... It's great. <laughs> Dude, this build, or this class, really is the crit class, I swear, more so than even the daggers. Because you close distance so much better as the spear hand. And like, you know, devout off fringe after a stun or just throwing them off their balance, throws them on the floor and just leaves them completely open for a critical attack. Keep your ears pricked. Our foes might betray themselves with the slightest sound. And then even throwing them far away is not an issue, because you can just close the distance. With the Dragoon's Foin. <laughs> Caught up to Intel in terms of well, keeping the lower price. That's really good. And that's smart, right? They could be money hungry if they wanted to, but they figure, you know, if we if we keep our prices competitive, we're ultimately going to make more money than the competitors, right? It's just common sense at that point. Their financial advisors are probably good at forecasting. Because, you know, most companies are like, oh, but big dollar sign, though. You know, bigger quarter numbers. It's like, well, what good is a bigger quarter number if it's going to diminish over time? Meanwhile, if you forecast your year's profit and you can show, like, we've had a consistent stream of profit and, yeah, maybe the other people had a spike in this quarter or that one, but obviously as new merchandise comes out and people's budgets are changing constantly, if we keep our prices competitive, then we're going to have a higher average than just having a higher spike. Mm-hmm. 
That's so fun. <laughs> and that's why it's like, oh, shut up, shareholders, honestly. Uh, it's a politics game, but either way. At the end of the day, I'm just glad that I have this computer <laughs> and I can play Dogma, even though it's still a 50-50 experience for me, but I wanted to play this game the way it was meant to be played. Which is without having invisible floors. And 10 frames per second. <laughs> really? Okay, I think that's it. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. That's it. I think that's the entirety of this cave. No breakable walls anywhere. Um, all right. on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves here. Keep your eyes peeled. I did come over here, but did I? I see no way forward. We best turn back. Okay. There's a common enough setback. We'll find a way. Yeah, I mean, we're done here. I just wanted to check. Ooh, and it's nighttime. What monsters lurk at night here, I wonder? I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Oh my gosh, I just... I need to go back to the markers <laughs> that I set for myself otherwise. Oh, I hear an ogre. It's all the way up there. That was a good amount of damage. We need to get rid of this mage. Is the 
These skeletons are just never ending, aren't they? Jeez, they just keep coming. Is there like a necromancer or something? Oh, hey Mika, sorry. I was like, just trying to focus. I could barely see and then these skeletons just kept spamming and spamming. Yeah, the spear. So far this is my favorite vocation. Lots of combo potential, lots of crits. It's too bad you don't get iframes during the crits, but whatever. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. True enough. But yeah, this redoubted bolt, oof. it completely paralyzes smaller enemies for a short time, but that's all you need in order to close the distance with the A follow-up, and then just... Oop. Just like that. I sustain is yours to wield. Ah, give me the high five. No, salt. Achieved remarkable synchronicity. Playing the spear, dude, yeah. Let us try for the same is that the dimension. is this the vocation you've been playing? Oh, you haven't gotten the game, okay. Yeah, well, so far this is the best uh, gameplay I've had in the game, because even with the wonky movement, which, yeah, I mean, even climbing onto that ogre, During my travels, it was a bit awkward. Yeah, take me there, Raven. They do the first patches, that's, yeah, especially with the performance issues here. But, you know, I couldn't... Oh. Well, I'm down here now. 
lest we lose sight of each other. I just, I couldn't wait. I was, I would have gotten way too jealous of other people playing the game without me. I'm like, no, 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 this is my game. This is my game, so. Well, Dogma's my game. Dogma 1 is my love and joy. Like, really, I can't think of any other game that I would have dealt with all the issues I did on my last computer. No other game series I would have dealt with that. For as long as I did. God, why do you guys hit so hard? Can this pierce through multiple enemies? Hard to say. Close a call offers no solace in victory. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. I'll carefully conserve my str There wasn't anything over here before I go up the ladder, was there? Well, at least I'm getting a bunch of putrid gold teeth. I need more drops from the undead. For some weapons, I think. you back up okay so even if you saw that trap you wouldn't have been able to progress without going down there cool I'll collect that you needn't trouble yourself Yeah, I really should be collecting more stuff. This is a whole new area, so... No doubt the next set of weapons I get will rely on them. Oh my god, I didn't even see you guys.
Yeah, that high five, high five. There we go. Did you up? I did. I did. I got a computer that can actually play the game. I'm very happy about it. Um, you should be able to see the chat history, so if you're curious, you can scroll up and see the exact build I have. Vanna and Shui um, brainstormed to help me decide what to buy. <laughs> so, that's the result. Oh, thanks Shui Pai. Yep, there it is. I love how I keep saying I'm gonna go toward the markers and I just keep going away from them. What is this? I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. Worm's life crystal. Oh my god, is there like a campfire nearby? All the way up there. Oh, forbidden ID, that's weird. Uh, all right, well, um, I have the, you would think I'd know, but all the letters and the names, I still don't. So for the CPU, it's the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, 32 gigs of memory, and then the video card is AMD Radeon RX 7800XT with 16 gigs of VRAM. And that's, that's the main core of the computer. Yep. Yep, she is performing very well. Oh, I thought that was a bandit. Okay, I keep... I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Let me go back to the markers. Oh, but there's a cave here. See? Holy mausoleum ruins. Okay. The bats are the real problem in this game, for sure. No, oh, more undead. Really? A rotten hearse bud? Another rotten piece of meat. Okay. We shall have to turn back. It is a common enough setback. We'll find a way. I sustain is yours to wield. You guys having fun over there? Yep, they are. Gosh, it feels so claustrophobic in here. 
with the, the camera angles. What cape did I pick up? Was it even a cape? Oh! I keep getting items for vocations I don't have access to. Although that one looked like it could be worn by two others. It looked like mage and someone else. Ooh! You must remain calm, else all will be lost. Gosh, they do a lot of damage. One little hit was like a fourth of my health. This way. Oh, it's one of you. Oh, interesting. I couldn't crit you. Huh. Funny. Oh, no. Get away from me. How did that not, like, explode on you? Ooh, nice. I needed oily slime. Now I just need two freakish mains for I already forgot which weapon or armor piece. I am ready to attack, master. Might I be of assistance? My god, there was a lot of mess in here. Ooh, over 8k gold though. Ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Mm, I guess that's it. Beast will grow ferocious when backed into a corner. What Master, hit me? Are you unharmed? Was that a spider? Really? A spider stun locked me? I don't know. It, I don't know what hit me. It must have been the spider. What else? Maybe an invisible bat? Here, an 
God, I can't tell you how much I love being able to close this much distance. And then just combo into a critical attack. Oof. That's why they didn't give it iframes that would be too OP. So what? <laughs> Let me have fun, it's a video game, good lord. Yeah, no. They're like easily S tier mobility, especially in a game that where I feel like the movement works against you more often than not, especially with that auto climb. Shall we take a closer look? Yeah, no, this is this has become very fun. Like I was trying different combos and stuff, but mm -hmm. and then even like I was thinking about switching out Devout off fringe, or however you say that. With this other ability that gives you a shield that negates all damage for a short period of time. And I'll probably still, but uh, when you can just throw corpses or unbalanced enemies at other enemies and then it throws them and makes them go flying too, that's too good. I, I, I can't pass up on that. <laughs> It works too well. Oh, what's going on in there? What's the point of coming up here? Oh. No, really, what's the point? During the Mystic Spearhand reveal, they showed the corpse thrown. I mean, they thought that's it. That's the one. <laughs> well done, O Wizen One. You have seen through my deception and divined my location true. Are you the Oracle? No, you're loose. I don't know. I was just running around. I'm like, why would there be a ladder up here? <laughs> There's got to be something up here. To one of your wisdom, I would be honored to pass on the most subtle of my tricksters up. <gasps> oh, wow, I have to come all the way over here for a vocation? Well, that worked out. Imagine if I had to, like, actually followed my own beacons. I wouldn't have found that this quickly. Okay. Oh, I can't look at other vocations here, can I? No, I can. Um, wielding phantasms to confuse foes, they call forth obstacles and illusions to sow chaos on the battlefield. Oh, so that's what that's used. Sensor, attention to the caster. Ephigial incense creates a... Oh, wow. Interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, these are just core skills. Really, no weapon skills to show? Causing them to attack each other. But in defense- oh, I see. Yeah. I'm having too much fun with the spear, dude. I know only that which is already clear. Such knowledge- Okay, well. That's where that is. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. What? Have no 
Oh. This Arisen's will is the strongest. Can it be you are lost, Arisen One? The path to the dragon has many turns, but I can illuminate the way ahead if you so desire. Oh, you probably would have gotten scammed, huh? Damn, it's too bad I didn't come down here first. I wonder what would have happened. I think it's literally just a waste of your money. Ice attacks work wonders against their ilk. Let my magic grant you an elemental boon. I shan't allow any further harm to come. Okay, anyway. Is this a of the Arisen's journey? Can it be the path to the dragon has many turns? Somewhere in Batal, a hidden truth lies. Somewhere in Batal, a hidden this meeting shall not <laughs> interesting. Okay. Is there anything in here? My best to match your skill, Master. Yeah, you guys are doing very well. Oh, it's been forever since I've seen one of these beetles. Is it because there's enemies nearby? Ice is staying is yours to wield. We've got them on the run. Ought we to pursue and eliminate the stragglers? Mm. Are we done? Let's make camp. It's been a bit. Well, we've eaten our fill. What say we settle our stomachs with a few hours sleep? I hope nothing went bad. Anything go rotten in here? Okay, so... I already... Did I go over here? It looks like it. Just to be sure. Actually, no, I did not go on that structure. And then this cave. Did I already go in this one? Tomb of...
Did I? Oh, yeah, it's this one. We would do well to keep our distance. Surely not good can come of that. Okay. Indeed. One never can be too cautious. I just didn't come up here. How do I get up there? Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Aww. Oh. Nice. I'll gather this. It might be of use. In another world, I learned that a forgotten rift is not Shall I speak to them? Materials, eh? I shan't deny. They have their uses. Behold the view. The entire landscape lies before us. The scenery of Batal is wondrous to behold. Is the path up here? I guess so. It's a mountainous path. Battle is best avoided here. We are none of us alike in vocation. 
Our respective abilities are unique as well. I see it as a glad thing. We are well poised to supplement each other's strengths. Yep. That's exactly right. And right when you say that, you just fall and die. <laughs> oh, Raven. Honey. What timing? <laughs> yes, to use our strengths. Face plants to death. <laughs> me for being a burden arisen. You're fine. What is it with the pawns always falling here? I mean, really? Oh, she's right next to me. Never mind. You doing all right, Salt? What happened? And Raven, why are you all the way back here? Yeah, hey Fry, I got a new computer, so that's why. <laughs> nice and smooth. Okay, well, oh. An impressive view. We can infer much of the lay of the land from here. Is that a monster? Where? Place to take stock of our surroundings. Indeed, you are correct. Another seventy dollars? What did you do? Oh, you bought it on PC. There you go. So really? Even PS5, it, it's not performing that well? That sucks. I would definitely expect this game to behave the best on console. for the most part. Oh, okay. Except when it wasn't. Yeah. Which is during fights, where it matters. 
Yep. I mean, I play this game for the combat. <laughs> so... I fought a griffin just outside of town. It was a slideshow. Oh lord. Yeah, may as well have been playing on my old computer then, huh? That's... that's really bad. So how is it performing on your PC? I am getting so turned around here. I feel like I've already been here. But I have not been here. Dips 50s in the cities. Nice. haven't adjusted many settings. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well and true. Yeah, well I can tell you coming from <laughs> where I couldn't even see the floor half the time. The performance is just, yeah, naturally. So much better. The movement is still wonky though, but Spearhand has done the best job at handling the wonky movement so far for me. All the other vocations, they just suffer. It's really unfortunate. Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's the most fun I've been having with the vocations so far. Going caster in my start over now? Yeah, I mean... Mm-hmm. It's certainly not Mystic Knight level, but... It's pretty good. Like, the combo potential, closing distance, it's a crit build. It really is. Like, there's so many things you can do to set up enemies for a critical attack. But the, the teleportation with this redoubted bolt is easily the one of the best things about it. And then just stun lock him with it. <laughs> I have not been in here. Dude, I keep going this way. Like, I keep trying to go over here, but I just keep coming this way instead. <laughs> uh, at this point, it doesn't Tread matter. Carefully. There is no telling what might lurk within. Fear not, Arisen. I should be ready to respond at the first sign of trouble. Arisen. 
How might I be of aid? Ring of Disfavor. Oh, nope. My talents lie in combining material. Yeah, I probably shouldn't light it on fire. <laughs> Materials, eh? I shan't deny, they have their uses. Gosh, it's so good for even avoiding. Is this breakable? Let me get that. Is that really it? Just these few chests and the slimes? Hmm, I guess so. Well, in the mining deposits. Okay, for real though, I have to go to my beacons, otherwise, yeah. So let me just make the journey back. I just, I keep getting sidetracked. Because I'm like, ooh, what's over here? <gasps> what's over? Which is fine, that's the whole point. It's just to kind of go wherever. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Okay. Ugh, you really can't get ambushed at all. Good lord. Just the stun locks are terrible. I don't know, like, where were the other pawns? They just got stuck up there or something?
No, by all means, guys, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. Like, l what are they doing? Okay, never mind. Unless they're right next to me, don't assume they're gonna be able to catch up. Seriously, they were just standing there like, uh, what do we do? Yeah. I guess so. Here, I'll wait for them. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. None of us has been poisoned. There we go. I have a knack for combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. I suppose we might as well gather what we can. Well, I finally made it to my marker over an hour and a half later. <laughs> these statues were erected that travelers might not lose their way. I can't imagine we're in need of a campsite just now. Tis enough to make camp only when the need arises. This looks familiar. Wasn't I already scaling these earlier? travels beyond the rift I learned of a cave near here that you have yet to explore shall I take us there yeah I said yes Raven you know in a future patch they really should make it so that it's uh well maybe not a pop-up because then if that pop-up happens during battle, forget it. Although they usually don't tell you about this stuff while you're fighting. But like something to where, you know, after they say that, I can go up to her. I happen to understand Elvish, Master. And in matters of import, I shall inform you if I learn of what. it should be an option. Like what I just said, you know, in the event that when you told me to do it and I didn't do it, you can go to matters of import and then you can select it there. You know, that would be a much better way to do that. Otherwise, it seems when I'm too far away and they make a suggestion and I tell them, yes, go ahead, show me. It doesn't matter, it doesn't register. As a matter of fact, a curious thing, one of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Each to their own. Hmm. 
yet another side path. Nope, we do not know how to swim. The brine will consume you every time. Even dragons. <laughs> yep, the brine still swallows everyone up. Have a gander at my wares. <gasps> you shan't regret. I'll get more of this. I don't have a lot of that. It. Just give it all to me. I have a good amount of silver ore, but may as well. Pleasure doing business with you. Mm-hmm. Our packs are heavier. Speak to me another time. Oh, I thought that was- oh, another chimera. Oh good. The chimera fights are interesting. Oh, someone better give me a clap after that. Okay, well, that's fine. You guys can high-five each other. I just- we needed a high-five after that. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. It's a real shame there aren't any badges or additional markers. I would put like, oh, there's a chimera over here and a dragon over there kind of a thing. Because I'm not going to remember where they are. Although I'm sure someone's going to make a map on the wiki eventually. It's probably already there now. utilize our individual strengths wherever possible. Oh, there's a bunch of ore deposits here. This ox guard was beset by a sailor who could not shake. And this is the result. 
The work of goblins, mayhap. We must remain vigilant. So that was it, right? Oh, maybe that's the cave she was trying to lead me to. Alright, time to transfer a bunch of stuff. Anyone else fall off a cliff since I left? Uh, not off a cliff. There were some unconscious moments, but fortunately they did not go where I couldn't- Oh! <gasps> the meter catharsis. Is Mystic- is Magic Archer still in this game? Well, probably not, huh? It's like an equivalent to it. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I'm curious to see what they did with that. Understood. I shall watch over this till the hour of its use. Do we need to make camp? Oh no. It's still pretty early. I never would have expected to find a cave in a place like this. In Noah Patal. Exciting discovery. But we ought not to lose our heads. Well, there's the dead bandit in here. It was shown and named. Okay, so... Oh lord, what did they do with that, I wonder? I guess I'll find out. I'm not too attracted to the thief... To the trickster. Vocation, at least not right away. Ring of Percipients? What? Oh, boost magic. Uh... I mean, may as well. Moderately boost stamina? These are good rings. And then he still has... Yeah, those are still pretty good for him. Overlooked. Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance or anything. Oh boy. Skulls are smashed beyond repair. Oh, no, it's a lich. Oh, this is going to be annoying. <laughs> Buff us up, Raven. You have no need of my assistance at present, but I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Um, buff me up with Palladium. Okay, anyway. Oh, 
They're a white. Yeah, that's what they're called. Wow. Come on. something I could throw at it? Yeah, you. Can you summon more skeletons that I can throw at you? Ooh, get away from that. No high fives? There. Having more of these to hand ought serve us well in battle. Let us take care when and how we put them to use. Okay. Glad I finally came to my own marker. And then there was something more over here. As a matter of fact,
Yeah. That was a high five for sure. <laughs> That's it? God, they're so cheap on their drops. What emote is that? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, there's another one of these statues. Beck commission. Uh, lore, lore, lore. Still better drops than Souls game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the drop rate on some of those enemies is abysmal. Not even worth the hassle most of the time. And you still try. Yeah, I mean... You know, if you want a good time killer, and you listen to some Spotify playlists in the background, you get a little bit of a meditative groove, just killing the same enemy over and over and over again. I'm scared I'll get back. Oh my god, Vanna. You see me. You see me with maximum... Inventory. For how long? But I get it. I get it. I wouldn't tell you something is safe if it weren't. As much fun as I'm having with Spearhand, I think it would benefit me to try the Thief one. Even though... I'm just- I'm an aggressive player though, that's the problem. That one seems to be more passive. don't know. I mean, I already have it at rank 8 because I activated a script, like, even on my- before this whole session, where I'm like, just get me close to maximizing. I really don't want to farm just to try new abilities. I'm like, I really just want to see what they gave us. I don't really care to be killing things and starting all over again when my pawns are much more powerful than I am. But I'll- oh. I'll probably have a look at it later though. There's chest. Oh, well spotted. I'm sure my master would be astonished to learn this is here. I've yet to use the harpy, like thingies. Oh, there's a seeker's token over there. Oh, how do I get to it? It's so... oh my god, Mika, you don't know the half of it. Like, the auto-climb when you don't want to climb, especially during battle. And then the constant forward momentum, it's like... They think they made a platformer with where they put shit. <laughs> About to faceplant. The faceplant is just the silliest of all of them. It really is.
creatures who know death cling to life. Ought we to pursue and eliminate the stragglers? Has the drop more than two feet? Immediately face plant. Yeah. Like, even as you're falling, the character's like, ah, I want to kiss the floor with my entire face. here. I keep forgetting that it's worthwhile to hunt so that we have some meals to cook at camp. I suppose there can be no harm in bringing this along. That's probably like one of the biggest um, positives I can give this game, right? Because I mean clearly the new weapon arts would be the biggest positive for me but with this movement being as janky as it is you can't even enjoy most of them um but definitely like giving you a reason to hunt and kill right because i mean yeah in dogma one it gave you more stamina it gave you your stamina back which is important stamina remains the most important attribute to me i would say but now like you have a more immersive way of getting boosts to all sorts of stats, not just your stamina. And I really like that. Get it, Killian, damn. Uh, but eventually I'll get used to it, maybe. No might say Overconfidence. Here, an enchantment of cold to freeze our bow. God, I just yeah. Imagine if this class were in Dogma 1. Oh. It would rival Mystic Knight. If it had the movement control of Dogma 1, this class would rival Mystic Knight. I suppose we might as well Definitely. Oh. Someone needs help. Are you in need of healing? Battle cannot be avoided. Fight or die. You all right there, dude? I suppose I should say this is for you. Have I been in this cave before? Yeah. Oh, we may as well camp. Where is it? Well, there's one just over here. Alright, before we camp, is there any perishables to give to Killian so he can combine them? As needed. I really like Logitician. Logitician with, what is it, Calm? I think Calm is the one that goes out and collects stuff. Would make a really good combo, I feel. I'm gonna have so much shit to put back in my storage when I get to a town settlement. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> For real? Oh, wait, no, nope. we gotta eat first. Not like a feast to get you ready for bed. Agreed. We ought to give ourselves a chance to recover ere we continue on our journey. Wait, is that a is that an oracle sign? Oh, no. Oh, they use the same icon uh, for the fortune teller. In Ver, I already forgot the name. Grand Soren. <laughs> Vernworth. Vern Worth. What a weird- that's such a weird name to say. Vern Worth. That does not flow. Like, Vern With. Like, I would name it Vern With. That flows better, but Vern Worth, like... That's very awkward to say. To a lot of stuttering. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Oh dear, what? Oh. Wasteland Griffin's Nest. Isn't this the one we already killed? That's a good amount of loot. So I guess if you didn't kill it on the road, it would just be here? Or maybe not, who knows. Because it's just the nest, it doesn't have to stay here all the time. Okay, so that was here, yeah. Okay, so... <laughs> My god, so many paths. I'm gonna come back here. I really should leave like a fair, a, a poor crystal somewhere here. You know, this this forgotten ruin seems to be pretty central. Or you know what? This this is pretty good too to put it to leave it here. Cause then if I don't think I'd ever need to come back here. But, oh wait, I already have one there, so I, never mind. Worth getting now or waiting on? I I feel about the same. Hello, Vel. Vel. Velsh. Yeah. I mean, definitely, I will say, um, one, having a computer that plays the game properly has slightly changed my mind. But I figured that much, but yeah. But no, the movement's still pretty wonky, and... I mean, yeah, the map's bigger, so technically there's more things to do, but enemy variety... It, it, it rem I mean, everything's just a retexture. There hasn't been one, like, completely new enemy here. There's been a retextured ogre, retextured goblins, and that's it. <laughs> oh, and Saurians. So, you know, um, and then there's just plenty of other things that I could go on about, but I would say 50% of my wait for a sale is the movement. 
Assuming that you really, really, really love the movement in Dogma 1, which I do. Like, that was one of the fundamental reasons that Dragon's Dogma became is my favorite game. You have absolute control over your movement in that game, but here? Between the just slowed and janky pivots and the auto-climb, the camera zooming in very awkwardly, it's just... It does. It doesn't make for battle fluidity, at all. Not the way that Dogma has the potential to, anyway. But you know, for a, like waiting for a sale, then yeah. That went as well as we might. Have. I would still recommend it for a sale price. probably have a chance of running it decently so I guess it's a wait then yeah no I mean if you don't I mean fry um even on ps5 um oop, they respawned hold on yeah without something that can handle the movement it's just gonna be a constant headache because even with the smoother um, frames and performances, it's still pretty frustrating for me to position myself properly and um, be able to see what the enemies are gonna do when the pawns are doing stuff. And I mean, yeah, you could go solo or only have your main pawn or three pawns, you know, right? Whatever size is best suited for you, but you know, Dogma, I don't have the pawns because I need them, although, you know, it's very easy to get ambushed here. Um, because the stun locks are dramatic. I mean, a small little arrow makes you flinch for three seconds. You know, like, they- they- that's too much, right? Like, a full-on greatsword, I understand. But a little arrow that hits me off screen? There is no reason for me to get stun locked that much. So, you really do kind of have to keep your distance or, you know, kind of get used to the movement enough to where you're not putting yourself in that position constantly. You know, on second thought, maybe I'll leave the port crystal somewhere where I don't get immediately ambushed. I was thinking, oh, by the campfire. Mm. I guess I could leave it over here, like at the entrance. Or here, what's like a central? Yeah, like oh around. This oxcart has been destroyed. Wrought by the hands of brigands, or the claws of monsters. I think here actually would be good because they would see me, but I'd be able to just run in that direction. Done, Master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. Mm, fortunately, though, with the pawn system, even though I don't really care with how they changed it, I haven't noticed any um, performance issues on the pawn's end. You know, as long as you know what to look for that you know is going to suit your playstyle. It doesn't really, uh, have a negative. I 
I've already been up there, pretty sure. Yeah, I'm just making my way to the... We ought to take a closer look. ...the marker. Yeah, so just go over here. I wish you could turn, but oh well. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain. Black Flame Tornado, what, my spin to win? Yeah, it kind of looks like it, huh? I have to get some dinner. Alright, Velsh, sounds good. Yeah, no, definitely. Tires for your car is far more important than a video game. So yeah, and then by the time it goes on sale, there's gonna be, you know, patches that improve the performance, so. Mm-hmm. Gosh, it just, it feels like I haven't been over here, but I have. Who's there? I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. I quite agree. Let my 
magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. Speaking Mandarin again, yep. I say it, we trounced our foe well and true. In BDS3, yeah, I mean, I had the Radiant 580. And that thing even handled Elden Ring. The only time it really did suffer was Faramazula. And even then it wasn't Faramazula, it was the dragons. Um, with their lightning, just... It did not like it. But that's it. Any other time? I mean, yeah, it wasn't perfect frames, but it didn't need to be. I mean, I had I have fifteen hundred hours in that game with that graphics card, so it really was just this game <laughs> that was intense beyond compare. The pro yeah probably it's like having to process all of the particles that were occurring with the lightning. Am I going the wrong way again? I am. Now then, which way? Fretting will get us nowhere. Let us pick a path and see where it takes us. Well, at least we were able to kill another ogre. I did come up here, right? Oh man, I don't want to switch. It's too good to be able to just close distance like that. Not even just for the fights, but just to also explore. It's even better than Mage. I mean, look at that. Like, you can't beat that. Sorry, little piggy, but, you know, some meat for us to eat later. Well spotted. Shall we see what we can find? Alrighty. Okay, I already lost where- I, yeah, before I missed this. Because I'm like, there was an opening in the wall somewhere. Yeah, and I don't want to miss it. A 
Our enemy employs a mage. Best fell them first, lest their curative magics prolong our battle. Careful now. Hmm. Well, this is a way to come over here. There's no way up. You think you can live? Maybe we have to go over here then. Maybe it just does a loop de loop. It does a loop de loop. Master, my heart knows no greater peace than when I am by your side. Aha! Ah. Now here's a surprise. Our collection grows. Interesting. I shall have to inform my own master of this. Yeah, Salt, you're gonna get a shit ton of RC. <laughs> And experience, because I've had you for... We are 10 levels above you. Which, since it seems people let the pawns die after 5 minutes, or they dismiss them after 5 minutes, that's, that's a lot. She's been with us for like countless days, because I know it records how long they've been with us in terms of days. It's been probably weeks at this point with her. Ooh. Pawn quest seems to encourage quick rotation of pawns. Mm. I can see that, but I'm still like, no. <laughs> if I like a pawn, I keep them. I wonder what opens this. Coral Snake's Hideout. Hmm. It's probably gonna be a side quest, huh? Main quest, perhaps? I'm tempted to leave a poor crystal here. Hmm, I guess I don't need to. strength would be most welcome. I guess it is getting late in the day. All right, let me get us some provisions. A golem. They made golems more annoying in this game to me, so it's like uh... But sure. Let's go ahead. Oh my god. Here, an 
Oh boy, save me! Put your foot down. I don't know if this would work on you. No, it really does have to be physical attacks. Well then here. Okay, good. I'm like, how did we not break it? When in race, this creature is capable of calamitous strength. You ought not to provoke it. How are we meant to attack it without angering it? Let my magic be your weapon with the fury of the elements. Oh my god. God, they ruined the climbing jumps. There. Was a battle 
most fierce against a formidable foe. I'll high five you just because, I yeah. That I could count upon your okay. Strength yeah. Those fights don't deserve a high five. They're so obnoxious. Golems are just not that great of an enemy. They're very cheap. It's not really invigorating fighting one. It just gives me a headache. Even in base game, I never cared for them. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay, wow. You know. Hey Dynasty! Hello, how's it going? That's kind of there you are. A well of a common reward. Frustratingly so. We cannot expect gleaning treasures round every corner. Mm. Yeah, another campfire. Take care by the river's end. Oh good. That's gonna give us a good bonus. Be unwise to let our equipment get drenched. Not like a feast. To get you ready for bed. <laughs> oh man. I feel like at some point. Let me just go for a little bit more. Because every time I see that, it's like, ugh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a chimera. doesn't go that far.
careful with the waterfall, Killian. I don't want the brain to eat you. Ooh, a beetle. Oh, hello? Alright, careful guys. <laughs> I told you guys to come near me. Ooh, hidden cave. I told you to be careful. Really though. That was a nasty ambush. He thinks I spy aught of use. We ought to take a closer look. Mm. Can you break that? No. Well, all right. It's a glad thing we rested when we did. We must not let them walk up. to retreat then let us defer to the arisen's judgment right you are uh retreat no i'm just getting stuff i shan't allow any further harm to come to you Can I use it? It is a mechanism for hauling freight. It looks as if it could bear a significant load. Oh wow. Not avail ourselves of its use. Dude. Oh, I'm going forward. Okay, maybe that's where I should leave a port crystal then. Oh my goodness. One of us has been drenched. It's like a whole transportation system. What's more? I no, no. I mean, that's cool, but I'm going to want to explore. Oh, there's another golem. Oh dear. Are you going to hit me through this? Of course you are.
magic can fuel your weapon with the fury of the elements. Meanwhile, my pawns down there are just... Is anyone dead? Oh, there's more golems. Great. Hello? Welcome, sir. Doubly so if you're here to buy. What do you have? Oh, you have fashion. Many thanks, sir. Our coin reserves are much depleted after that indulgence. Was worth it. Fashion always is. Okay. Well, I think... Yeah, I'll leave a port crystal in this whole section here. Man, this is gonna take forever to go through. Another one. Can I make it go faster? You haven't forgotten us, have you, Master? Oh. There was a campsite somewhere nearby here. And maybe it was further ahead. Not the one over there, but like closer to this section. Well... It's fine. I'll just leave it... where? May as well just leave it by this. 
elevator over here. I have an ill feeling about this. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Mm, I'll leave it here, actually. What? Why not? Okay. With the port crystal placed, we'll be able to use a fairy stone to return here in an instant. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Well, that was a lot, I feel, and yet there's still so much to do. But yeah, man, I mean... I do want to, like, have more combat with the other vocations. I mean, I did have combat with them in the beginning area, but... You know... I kind of want to play them for equal amounts of time, even though... I mean, Warrior, I felt... I, I played Warrior for a while, so... Um, Fighter, I kind of did a lot of as well. I didn't play a lot of Thief because... Just the dodge being replaced with that dash is annoying, but maybe I'll give it another go. And then Archer was pretty good, but... Um... Yeah. And then I don't know, I don't know about that Thief one, though. Or not the Thief, but the Trickster one. It was just kind of like, well, I don't know if that would be my playstyle or not. But either way, seeing all that meat being cooked as we camped made me very hungry. So I'm gonna go eat something. But yeah, Shweepai, Dynasty, Mika, Vanna, everyone else who may be lurking and working. It was great chatting with y'all. Give meat? Yeah, I'll just uh, throw it at you across the screen here. Yeah, very good session, very good chats. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. So have a good one.